So welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, this is day 15 of breath. Um, so it seems uh, doing horse face neck and laughing is really hard to do at the same time. That was so funny yesterday. Um, yeah, there was, it was really good fun. <laughs> um, so today we're going to start in standing and then just come to roll on the floor. I woke up this morning and my rib cage was really speaking to me. We've been painting and painting and painting. And so, um, so yeah, so we're doing some yum into the rib cage. I think we did that in, um, did we do it in earth? I think earth was all about the rib cage, if I remember rightly. Um, so great. Come, 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 come stand on your mat. <sighs> so just bring your hands to your hips and roll. So as you roll your hips, notice what is that sense of mm, today I feel dot, 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 <laughs> and then roll in the other direction. Nice. Lean towards the right and lean towards the left. Right and left nice glide your hand down towards the right knee and then down towards the left knee down down nice rolling forward bending your knees rolling forward so we're just checking in you know how does my back feel today did you dig the garden drive to dublin squeeze your shoulders back on the way all the way up and then down so you're listening to for me the space between my shoulder blades really feels like it wants to move so as i squeeze my shoulders back i squeeze that area and then as i round my shoulders forward i kind of hang out of my arms i'll do that a few more times squeezing and rounding Nice. Cool. We're going to do an up, down. I have to say, up, downs are probably one of my favorite moves ever. So bring your hands, one hand to rest on top of the other. You're going to rise really high up on the right and then all the way down on the left. Up on the right and then all the way down on the left. And there's that sense of the tea towel squeeze on the top and then a squeeze on the bottom. But feel the movement all the way through that there's a little bit of movement all the way through and there's sensation all the way through. It's like a mad mixture between cutting the grass with a scythe and golf. <laughs> nice. Other side. And down. So here's the movement all the way through from the big rise through the belly to the big squeeze and down through the back. Just hear that. Now what's happening in your body? Right and squeeze. Nice. One more time. Rise and squeeze. Nice. Roll your shoulders. Big circle. And just hear your shoulders. And then roll in the other direction. So yesterday on the farm, so the go oh, geese are such eejits, excuse my genie mackers. So they, yesterday, the, all the eggs underneath the goose started to explode. We don't know what she did. She just must have stood up off her eggs at some stage. So they all rotted underneath her and they exploded and it was very dramatic. Um, also very, very stinky just out outside my kitchen window. So there's no goose eggs anymore. The fox came and ate the rest of them that night. So there's no more goose eggs, which is kind of a relief because the smell was terrible. So stand to the front of your mat. The duck is doing very well. Hopefully she'll have her ducklings in the next few days. I keep watching her every day. So you're standing at the front of your mat and then reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, reaching up, looking up, bending your elbows, bending your knees, come all the way down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, hands to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. 
hands to the floor, step your right foot back, connecting into the length of you, the reach of you. Stepping back into a plank, pause there. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor, reach both arms long, drop your head down. And then lift your toes one inch off the floor, lift your hands one inch off the floor, and then like a superhero, try and lift your belly off the floor as well. And so I'm squeezing my bum more and more as I try and draw my navel up towards my spine. And I'm imagining that I'm widening my lower back. Get longer through the back of your body. Often when we do this, we shorten the back. Now we're trying to lengthen the back and widen the back. So we try and do it again, lifting your belly or your navel up off the floor. <laughs> Whenever I do this, it's like, believe it or not, I'm walking on in a new, new. <laughs> Bring your elbows to the floor, rise into looking down the beach. Nice. And drop your head, push back into your cat, and back into downward dog. And that movement of broadening through the lower back, try and find it here. Rather than shortening your back, try and widen your back. Lengthening, widening, drawing back through the navel. Broadening the back of the rib cage. Nice. And drop your knees to the floor, Kung Fu Bunny. Lean over towards the left and then swing your right foot forward. Stretch your back leg, step forward. Slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, reaching up, looking up. Bending your elbows, bend your knees, come all the way down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins. Lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your left foot back. Stretching back. And step back into your plank. Knees to the floor. Belly to the floor. Stretch your arms long. And let them rest. Let your head rest. And then lift your arms one inch. Lift your feet one inch and pull your navel towards your spine. Widen into the lower back. Lengthen the back of your body. And dropping down. Nice. So lift the right leg, left hand. And then lift the left leg, right hand. And opposite hands from each other and leg. Opposites. Just feel that. The opposite hand and leg rise. And the two that are on the floor are connecting and pushing into the floor. One more time each side. Super cool. Bring your elbows under your shoulders. Look down the beach. Nice. Push back into your cat. Push back into your downward dog. Nice. Drop your knees to the floor. Kung Fu Bunny on the left. So lean over towards the right. Lift your left knee up and yeah, forward. Stretch your back leg, step forward. Slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Nice, come all the way down to lie on your mat. Down, land, arrive. Cool, so bring your ankles together, your knees together. Reach your arms out to the side and just let yourself land there. Nice. So bring your right arm long beside you and roll over onto your right side. So you're landing onto the right side of your body. Your left arm is resting on your hip and you're lying on your right arm. If you feel lying on your right arm is uncomfortable, then find a way either getting support for underneath your head or do something that is comfortable for your right arm, okay? So from here, bring your left hand to your left hip and just keep your toes together. 
but lift your left knee as high up as it'll go and then drop it down so clamshell lift your left knee up and drop it down so i'm not moving my left hip just moving my left leg nice next time you do this push your right hand and uh, left hand into the floor lift your knee and then now allow your back to roll a little bit more towards the floor so you're keeping your right thigh on the floor but you're doing everything possible to draw your left knee back as far as it'll go so your left hip is moving your left rib cage is twisting a little bit just feel that left hand's pushing into the floor you're letting your knee drop backwards nice so reach the left hand forward and let the left foot sweep behind you so you're coming into propeller so then draw your left knee forward and draw your left elbow back into wing so my fingers are resting on the side of my face and my elbows pulled back behind me keep looking towards the left and reach or is that the right no idea keep looking in the direction that that is that must be the right <laughs> forward keep looking forward that's what that is as you glide your hand forward as you glide your foot back as you glide your elbow back and your knee forward so they're doing opposites from each other and just hear the um, the really cool sensation of this and you're only going to what is wellness for you always what is wellness for you in this movement i love the way the right side is glued to the floor it's not moving and the left side has this whole amazing space to move in. Nice, come back to center. So bring your left elbow, left knee together and they're really sideways. They're as high up above you as they can be. And then stretch your left leg, left arm and let them touch the floor. Mm, draw your elbow and knee up and then stretch them long when you stretch them long actually try and reach through your toes a little bit extra and reach through your fingers a little bit extra squeeze them in stretch them long squeeze them in stretch them long nice one more time squeeze it in and stretch it long Nice. Bring your right, uh, left hand to the floor in front of you. Bring both knees on top of each other, both feet on top of each other. We're just going to spiral the leg a little bit here. So lift the left leg and then touch your left toes off the right knee. And then touch your left knee off the right knee. But lift your foot up in the air. So you're trying to spiral your leg. Toe touches the, uh, the knee. Knee touches the knee. Let your belly move. Toe touches the knee knee touches the knee and as your knee touches your knee let yourself roll forward with your belly a little bit just feel it through the rib cage sacrum the belly nice both knees together roll over onto your back pause there do you feel different one side from the other one feels like dawn and the day the other one feels kind of squished like the night cool so reach your left arm long beside you and then roll over onto your uh, keep have both ankles together both knees together roll over onto your left side and rest on your left arm nice so start off hand on your hip and keep your toes together and just lift your knee and you're not moving your hip as you do this it's just your leg that's moving it should kind of feel like there's a very definite end of the range it kind of stops and it stops nice hand to the floor and this time when you do it let your hip fall backwards so i'm kind of twisting my body a little bit more as i do this i'm rocking backwards i'm pushing the right hand into the floor so my shoulders are staying steady but my whole back or my bum is traveling back towards the floor behind me as i lift my knee it should feel like that your bum is working hard here or something at the side of your leg is working hard nice cool 
So reach your right hand forward, reach the right foot back behind you. And then pull the right elbow back into wing as your knee comes forward. Just feel that. Mm, arm goes forward, foot goes back, elbow goes back, knee comes forward. Find your version of this, whatever that is. You might have to edit because of so many different reasons, but find a way that you move in some kind of version of this. Be creative, be listening, be you. Um, I was just remembering yesterday, this a beautiful teacher that I used to follow. Uh, I do follow on Instagram. She's disappeared somewhere on my Instagram. You know, they do that. She has this thing where she's like, beautiful. <laughs> it's so cute. Great. Come back to center. Nice. So now we're going sideways. So bring your right knee up to your right elbow. And then reach them both long and reach, reach, reach into your toes as you reach long. So be beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I just really get it. I'm like, yeah, this is just so cool. The more you're you, the more, yeah, just beautiful and shining and true to yourself you become. So just reaching. Whatever version of this you're doing, maybe it's just the leg that's moving. Maybe you've decided not to move your arm like this. That's okay. Maybe you decided not to move your leg like this. Pause, stretching, stretching, stretching. Toes are long, arm is long, super strong into your belly. Nice. Bring your right hand to the floor in front of you. Bring both knees on top of each other. Or both bring your right knee on top of the other. Now we're going to spiral. So toe comes to your knee. And then knee comes to your knee. When your knee comes to your knee, let your belly roll forward. Just feel that there's movement happening in the lower back and pelvis. Toe to, toe to knee, knee to knee. Toe to knee, <laughs> knee to knee. Nice, one more time. Toe to knee, knee to knee. Cool, both knees together. And roll over onto your back, arms are wide, and just rock your knees gently from side to side. Nice. Stretch both legs up and just shake out your legs. There's always this funny thing. Um, so right now your two legs are probably shaking evenly, you think. Hmm. There's probably one that's shaking properly and the other one is pretending. But after a minute or two or a minute or so of doing this, the one that doesn't know what to do starts changing its oscillation. So wait until it really starts that your legs are doing <laughs> where they just don't know what to do anymore. It's like they fatigue in a way and suddenly there's like, like it's like, how do you shake? So find the moment when like shaking becomes like really hard. Like right now I'm like, oh, I don't know how to shake anymore. It's like my legs have lost the power of the shake. <laughs> and lower both feet down and pause. All right, so stretch both legs long. This is called run, forest, run. So both legs are long. And bend your right knee and then slap it down. And then bend your left knee and slap it down. And then you keep your heels on the floor and just go for a little run. So again, there's one that's going to start hopping in a funny direction. Wait till it starts to do something funny. So there now, my leg is starting to not know what to do. Keep running. You can do it another 30 seconds or another little bit. I <laughs> just rest. Nice. So bend your knees. Bring your hands to rest to your belly. 
And in you, did you notice that you kept wondering about the breath this morning? Did you focus on your breath or did you wait for me to prompt you? I kept getting these like, oh, the breath. And I was like, let's see what happens. So were you more aware of your breath or were you more aware of the fact that I wasn't talking about your breath? Like what was the interaction with your breath today? There was no prompts. But were you a little bit more understanding or hearing or, you know, in my daily life, I'm just weaving this incredible tapestry of breath throughout my day. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's just, it's beautiful. So hands on your belly. And just notice what is in your breath as you inhale, as you exhale. Nice. So it's still raining here. It's May and it's still raining. It was frost yesterday. My potatoes were okay. It was great. Thank God. Um, we didn't have any cover on them and there was a frost. So have a wonderful day. You know, do things that resource you, that bring you wellness. Um, take some time to yourself. You know, do things that, or hang out with people. You know, see what, what brings you wellness in this moment. And yeah, cultivate that. Be kind, be awesome, <laughs> be you. <laughs> it's a great. And I will see you all tomorrow uh, for another really wonderful installation of breath. A Sunday yum day. Mm, it's always nice on a Sunday. It's a great. Ciao. So great. If you have any questions about classes, clinics, workshops, trainings that we run here at Nauder, any other kinds of, Joseph does a breathing class every week on a Monday night. Uh, he runs all kinds of amazing programs on the breath. Um, so great. Um, info at nauder.com is how you find out about any of that. Uh, there's a newsletter that goes out once a month and it would be great to hear from you. So be well. Be awesome and be you. Share this with your friends if you feel benefit. You know, share this with family, with work. Um, it's always deeply appreciated. Great. So ciao for now.